we can bury him just right out here on the ridge and he'll have a nice view of the of the surrounding countryside it just says place it doesn't say bury so <laughs> challenge completed unopened parcel unopened parcel on placing the coffin on the ground, you stick around and say a few words about this brave man you never knew. Even though your first in interaction was you killing him, you <laughs> yep, pretty much, you somehow feel like you knew him all your life. At least he's buried properly now. Get back to the trader to let them know. I mean, I could have actually buried him, but okay. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up uh, not too long after I left you in the last episode. Um, we uh, we need to do a couple things here at the base before we take off. Um, we need to make a new katana. Uh, so that's what we're going to do first, and that's going to require 20 steel. And we have 30 steel, which is good. That still leaves us 10 left over to make advanced repair kits and whatever else we might need. So uh, let's see what we need to make this. So we need 20 forged steel, a sturdy handle, three leather, and three duct tape. Okay, three duct tape. Um, three leather, we're gonna need more leather for the handle too. So let's make the handle first. Because, um, I, I mean, if I try to repair this one again, it's going to be so low, we're going to lose the mod slot in it. So we're, we're just going to make another one. It's going to be, I mean, we our blade skill's gone up since the, we made this originally, too. So that's going to uh, give us an even better one. So let's take that temper thing off of there. And then um, go back to here. Okay, so we got everything. Wait, what are we missing? Got the forged steel, the handle, three leather, three duct tape. Uh, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't registering. So, yeah, we can make a, a green 347. And this guy, uh, not really sure what to do with it. I guess hang on to it. And when this one gets a tiny bit damaged, we could repair it. But I don't know if that, that would be a good idea, depending upon how much it degrades this one. Uh, so, for now, I guess we'll put it in here. Our guns chest is getting pretty full here, or, or I should say our weapons chest. So I'm going to have to do something about all of this here fairly soon. Uh, we did find this Lucille bat in uh, the last episode. It does 35 damage compared to my uh, pink bat, which only does 27. So it does a lot of damage. But the thing is, we don't have any skill in clubs. We also got the, the steel club too, which is just a little bit better than Lucille. Um... And we know how to make the spiked mod, but we also have the chain metal mod, which is good because it knocks them down. So something to think about, but I still want to keep working on sledgehammers for now. Okay, so let's grab the katana out of here. And we'll modify and put the temper mod back on. And there we go. Okay, so we got ourselves a shiny new katana here. Uh, the other thing that's getting really low is our assault rifle. Um, and I think when we repair it, we're going to knock it down to blue, but it's, it'll still be a decent weapon. I don't think I have another one I could do a combined, do I? These are all parts down here. So we're probably just going to have to use a gun repair kit. You can't, like, combine two different assault weapons, can you? Let's, let's just look. I don't think it'll let me do it, but let's look anyway. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. All right, so um, I have plenty of gun repair kits. I've just, you know, gotten them from loot. So let's go ahead and repair this guy. I mean, we could let it go for a little bit longer, but, boy, I'd hate to lose this. And we'd lose the mods, too. Eh, yeah, let's just repair it now. Okay, so now it's down to a 448, but we still have the two mod slots, so, you know, we might have lost a couple of points, but it is what it is. Now we have a, a fully repaired weapon. Okay, I think our sledge is in re relatively decent shape. Ratchet's in relatively decent shape. Everything else is 
good to go. Now, we've got this weird quest. Um, this Javier's Remains business. So let's look at this again. Recipe. We need to make the coffin. So we need 15 wood and 20 nails. And then we have to take this back to the trader, and I guess we get a reward or something. Here, let's just do this. Okay. Oh, well, I gotta stay in the damn workbench. <laughs> so, yeah, if you didn't watch the last episode, we did a, our first Tier 3 uh, POI, and we found this corpse. His name was Javier. And, or is that Javier or Xavier? Maybe it's Xavier. I don't know. Anyway, we, uh, so we, we basically cut him up <laughs> for his guts and we got, oh, and then I also busted the, um, Javier's coffee. Um, I also busted up the mailbox, which kind of started, I did the quest kind of in reverse. We, we, we found Javier first and then we opened the mailbox, which apparently would have told us to find, find Javier or something like that. Anyway, let's turn, return this into the trader and see what it is, and then we're going to do our next uh, quest, which is right right in town here, which is fantastic. Let's get away from the buildings to get all the Zeeks away from it. So I'm just curious what we're going to get out of this deal. Oh, I did make some red tea, but we are thirsty. And we have nine... Hobo stews now, because I got the rest that we were cooking up. All right. Uh, are you going to do something? How do we... Do we s just sell this to you? Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. All right. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let's go here. Unopened parcel. Oh, we have to place it. Like, just place it on the ground? Place it? All right, let's find a, a nice burial spot for Javier. We can bury him just right out here on the ridge, and he'll have a nice view of the of the surrounding countryside. It just says place. It doesn't say bury, so. <laughs> Challenge completed. Unopened parcel. Unopened parcel. On placing the coffin on the ground, you stick around and say a few words about this brave man you never knew. Even though your first inter interaction was you killing him, you... <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. You somehow feel like you knew him all your life. At least he's buried properly now. Get back to the trader to let them know. I mean, I could have actually buried him, but okay. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, man. Here, let's uh, let's throw back back some big red here because we're uh, we're really thirsty. <laughs> I like these uh, these custom quests. It adds, you know, adds fun to the game. Adds more fun to the game. Okay. You've made my day. All right. What do we get from pain. this? Shotgun ammo, spear hunter volume two, tech junkie, robots and stun baton to grade twenty percent slower. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Where'd he go? Yeah, he's dead now. Many thanks. You've proved to okay. be very um, resourceful. Here's your pay. Spirits degrade twenty percent slower. Stun batons degrade twenty. I'm gonna take shotgun shells actually. Okay. So that was uh that was decent. I mean we didn't really have to do do that much. So yeah, I dig it. Okay, let's go do this quest. Our second tier three quest. Right on over here. Oh, man, is it going to be the bunker house? Uh, it is the bunker house. Okay, cool. We've already done this once. We didn't do it as a quest. We just went through it. Nice. This is a fun one. I like this place. Got a brand new katana here. Nice and sharp. Ready to cut you open, buddy. Nice. Big Mama, you're moving pretty quick there. You're not feral, are you? No, she's not. Nice. We're getting better at the sledge, guys. We are getting better at it. 
What's this? A little trick on how to get... Uh, oh, honey from harvesting trees. Okay, good. Well, that's not a bad one. We'll take that. Okay, so let's just get started right away. I've done this house several times, so I'm pretty familiar with it. It's a good place. Good quest to do, though. Okay, nobody over here. Whoops, what am I doing? Check the toilet for jars. Um, we could salvage those for twine, but let's let's not. Let's hope we can find another backpack upgrade. Have to do 5% more damage when using a scope. Hot damn. Love it. I put a scope on my, um... How do we pick up stoves? Maybe I'm not doing that right. Let me know in the comments, you guys, um, how I'm supposed to get a stove so I can make the stove upgrade. Uh, or do you have to upgrade it in place and not have it in your base? I mean, I, I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to do with that. Oh, come on, backpack upgrade. Please, 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 please. Son of a... Okay. Uh, we don't need to be carrying this... Get these gas cans around. Going here. Not going there. Nope. Okay, you check this for a backpack. Nope. I'm not even going to do anything with that stuff. Nothing at all. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrench these for the brass. But we're not gonna keep the iron. Every time we hit a nightstand, there's always a chance, right? We have to stay positive. Blue's good. There's businessman over there. He's normal businessman, not feral. This is a clear, right? Okay, so it's not a fetch, it's a clear. Uh, let's put these on. Structural brace mod. All right. Take it. Lock picks. Whoops. Look at that. That's pretty nice. We'll probably just end up selling all of that, though. Oh, here we go. Uh, zooming uses 50% less stamina. And this is the Hunter Mod's Grant. Do more damage to animals. Beautiful. In fact, you know what? Um, oh, we don't have a mod slot on this because it's orange. Sucks. That's sellable. That's not we're going to mix with it. Okay, we've got some action down here, including the feral nurse. Uh, not a good time to load. Holy shit. It's because we, um, because we looked at the damn mod thing and it unloaded the gun. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Okay. Let's get some bleeds on you. Come over here, Edgar. I got a fresh katana. I can bleed you all day, buddy.
Okay. I think we have control of the situation. Uh, we are infected, though, which means... After we deal with these yahoos, we will go back down to the bike and take a honey. Let's also take another bandage. I'm not messing with you, pal. Son of a bitch is hit hard, man. Okay. Let's um, take a honey. That's why we got him here. And since we're here, we're going to offload some stuff. We don't need that. Don't need that. This we're going to scrap because ultimately we're going to have a bunch of, of that sort of thing. Uh, we might as well put the structural brace on here. All right. Do I have three slots for this? I do, but okay. Well, I'll just keep it on the axe for now. That's fine. Wow, we really got thumped good in there, man. Okay. Got to be more careful. Just, I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> I'm not used to being more careful. That's just all there is to it. All right. Let's come back in here and through here. We already looted that, and we shall proceed. Nobody in there? All right, if I remember to do so, I will come back here later and get the leather from these couches, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not screwing around, man. Doesn't the floor collapse in this room? Maybe not. Ammunition. Check the trash. We need jars still. Always need jars. We will also take that stuff too. So maybe we have to wrench the stoves. Let's see what happens if we wrench it. We'll loot it first. Uh care about that no we just get parts okay yeah so i'm not sure how we're supposed to do that stove upgrade kit thing um i mean if we do it like if i did it in here then the stove how do i get the stove back to my base that's one that's the part that doesn't that i don't quite understand so let me know in the comments guys how that's supposed to work if you know uh we'll take the ink we're going to want to use that stuff later on to make schematics once we get the research desk. I've been... Eh, I don't need that shit. I've been told, though, that the research desk is pretty rare. Uh, I guess we want that. Okay, so we came down those stairs. I think we're pretty much finished... Uh, with the house itself. So let's once again go out here and offload whatever we can. Time to go in the basement. It's probably yeah. Zeke behind there. It's a jiggly. Let's close that door. Okay, couple of sinks to check back here, and we got a uh, right there backpack. With some honey. That's if we had not have had any in our bike. Ooh, nice! Look at that custard pie recipe. Yeah, we got to figure out how to do get the stove. I'm really curious to figure out how that works. I know we make a kit for it, but again, my question is, how do we? Get a stove to our base to apply the kit to it. Or am I thinking about it the wrong way? I'm not sure. We'll always take some salt. Nothing behind there. Nope. Don't care about that. 
Okay, I think we might get some friends in here. Let's get this ready to go. Hello? Oh, there's a zombie right on the other side of this wall. See? Look at that. All right, let's see if we can pop him. There's usually some more, too. It's an Edgar. Come here, Edgar. Let's take a uh, hobo stew, because we need some food and water, and that will also give us 32 points of health. Such good stuff, considering what it's made out of. Let's actually not consider what it's made out of. Let's just pretend it's like um, pork and beans or something. I don't know. Let's just forget about what we actually make it out of. There we go. Pain pills. Okay, there is a thing in here. Now things get interesting. Let's see if we can pull Nurse Nancy over here. Oh shit, she's feral too. Uh, Alright, well, we gotta kill her one way or the other, right? Can we um, do that? Now, come up here so I can whack you in the legs, Nurse Nancy. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, she's going to break that, and then she'll jump up here, and then we sh should be able to... There we go. Get some cuts on her. We got some, we did a pretty good job of thumping her with that arrow in the head, man. Her health was like halfway down already. Okay, so we got Zeke that way. One there. Are you running? No, you're not. Okay. Now you are. <laughs> Off with your head. Oh! Okay, we got this. We got this, man. Uh, yeah, we'll take this and scrap a doodle it, and a couple more lockpicks. Okay, is there anything we need to get rid of? We're not gonna carry around one frickin' gunpowder. Ain't gonna happen, man. Ain't gonna happen. Right, let's check this. Very nice. 5% less damage when wearing him. Uh, baseball hats and leather jackets. It, okay, whatever. We'll take it. I mean, someday we might want to invest in clubs, and so it would be good to have all the achievements, you know, for it to get the bonus and all that sort of thing. All right, come on, backpack upgrade. Tough guy glasses. Very nice. I've been waiting for those. And then we have an extra pair of nerdies, which we'll just sell. Okay, that was good. Nobody coming up that way. All right. I don't think there's any more Zeeks in here. Well, again, I mean, we pick up toasters and microwaves with a pick. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a random chance thing. Come on, one back, back upgrade. Every time we see one of these, I'm going to say that. Uh, sell and sell. 
Okay, I think that covers this part of the floor. Oh, there's a thing here. It's a thing. Beaker. All right. Okay, let's get ready for some more action here. I got one incoming, and he's not feral. I think there's, yeah, it's gonna say, I think there's a Zeke in there. Thank goodness he's not, goodness he's not feral. Must have uh, aggroed some Zeke's up above because I don't know why that combat music's playing. Okay, check the bookcase. Twenty percent more arrows and bolts from your target. And what is this? Beehive schematic. Oh, nice. Okay, that's something that we're supposed to be able to make once we get. Um. I'm not going to take the worm. I've got, like, over a full stack of worms. Um, You know, when we get level four of living off the land, I don't take any of that stuff. Don't take it. Well, yeah, we better take that. Okay, let's uh, purge here. I'm going to go ahead and take another bandage. We just better not risk it. Okay. So usually what happens is when you get on this walkway here, you get rushed. Very generous on the brass. All right, can we... Um, Oh, crap. Can I just jump over that? Alright, are you, any of you feral? Well, you can jump over it, Jiggly. Yeah, run that way. Good idea. I still see a red dot. Uh, where's that red dot coming from? All right, well, yeah, let's just keep going because I think we're going to wrap up around anyways and come back to him. Dang, man, we are getting a lot of brass. Let's go up here. Are you the one that's been giving us trouble? Right, take a machete blade. Oh, actually, this isn't a machete. It's a katana. Tired of messing with you.
Okay, one or both of these bathrooms is going to have a zombo inside. That one's up above. All right, let's just go in. I think it's going to be the other one, but it could still be this one. He could be hiding right around the corner. Nice. You know, we have parts for 44 too. Seriously? There's nobody in there, huh? Okay. I don't know if I trust this. Uh, okay, let's go up. We're going to have some Zeeks over there. And there's going to be a bunch up there, too. Okay, I think we're ready for the grand finale here. I have got to remember to bring my dog on pipe bombs next time. Next time we're out and about. Uh, you know, I'm thirsty, and if I drink this, I know that would be good to save for mining, but that'll save us a slot. And I think we're going to keep everything else. So let's do this. Oh man, we got a glower. That's no good. All right, we're gonna go back down here for a second and, and break their path to us so they can't get up to us. Now, can we get their attention if we just do this? Nothing's ever easy. All right, what about if we make a little bridge here? There. Oh shit! Oh no! No no no! Oh no 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 that son of a bitch jumped all the way over here. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay. Oh, we got him. Okay. He was the one I was worried about. The rest of them, not so much. Holy crap. I thought we were, uh, I thought we were in bad trouble there. <laughs> Woo. Okay. We got this. All right. Let's wait for these guys to disappear, and then we can put another barricade down. Are you a normal, Edgar? Yeah, you're just a normal, Edgar. All right, we got one more Zeke just up above us. Let's close that door. We'll pick up the barricade and go after it. Oh, man, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he just jumped right out across. Are you feral? Oh, you are feral. 
All right, well, you're going to get some buckshot right in the place that's not appropriate. Clear. Return to trader. Okay, we did it. Whew. Oh, man. That one had me on the edge of my seat for a little bit there, guys. That freaking feral, or not feral, uh, irradiated spider just jumps right. Oh, whoops. Jumps right. <laughs> right over here i thought we would be relatively safe you know we're like super encumbered all right let's uh let's make our little bridge again just so we can get across here oh okay too much excitement for one day man there isn't usually anything back here but let's look anyway There's something back here. Nice. That's seven bandages right there. Nothing back here. Okay. Let's do the fat loots. Uh, we'll do the boxes first and then fat loots last. Very nice. Um, let's just eat this now. We need a little more health. We could use a little more food and hydration, so why not? It'll save us a slot, too. There's the crowbar. Hot damn. All right. It's not a very good one, but, hey, it's better than none at all. So we need that to get special parts off of cars, uh, including some things to make the motorcycle, but we still need the mechanics bench before we can actually make it. Um. Okay. All right. Fat loot's time, guys. Why can't I open it? Uh, what the hell? Oh, you know why? Because I, I we came in here and looted it before. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I bet that's it. I forgot about that. We Because we did come in and do this POI er, earlier on. Just did it, you know, not as a, a quest. All right, well, that's what Ravenhurst does to you. Still, I mean, we got we got some good stuff even without being able to open the fat loot, so I can't complain, really. Can't complain. It's worked out pretty good. Our once working workbench is no longer a working workbench. Oh, look at that. Steel fire axe. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. Okay. We are done in here. And I can barely move. Not taking that. Uh, I think we're just going to cut our way out through here. That's the one thing about this POI is it doesn't actually give you a way out. You have to cut your way out. It's kind of weird. Not that that's a big deal for us right now, but still. All right, let's go do our turn in. And we'll take the next tier three quest from the trader. Uh, but then we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Now, tomorrow on day 63, during the day, uh, I need to do some more work on the horde base. What you got, Bob? Many thanks. Robotic you turret, to leather leg armor, shotgun massage volume three, or a really nice steel shovel. Wow, look at the money on that sucker. Yeah, that's what we're going to take. All right, uh, inventory. Okay, so what are we going to sell to you? That's such a nice shovel. Um, it's also a lot of money, though, too. Ah, what the hell? We'll keep it. Um, okay, so I think that's... Oh, yeah, let's sell him this, too. I think that's everything we want to sell to him. Uh, you want some iron? A little bit. Gratitude and safe travels, All right, friend. Now let's go see what he's got. So he's got a, he's got two tier threes. The clear, this clear is back to the west where our gas place is, and that's to the south. I think this is in the town where we have the, you know, more gas. So that might make sense. Plus, there's Trader Jen's down that way too, so we could get something from her on the way back. Excellent. Okay. Hey, Jiggly. Okay. 
Okay, she did. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, I'm going to just kind of do some inventory management uh, overnight. Do some stuff around the base, that sort of thing. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to work on the horde base and make sure it's all ready to go. And then if we have enough time, we might go ahead and actually do uh, another POI before the horde night starts. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll just see you on Horde Night 63 uh, when we start the next episode. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.